Um, I'm Pat Tracy. I'm a neurosurgeon. I do the Parkinson's disease surgery here in Peoria. And I, um, I don't have anything nearly that lengthy today. <laughs> <laughs> I came for the food and to hear some good discussions. Thank you. And the food's great. <laughs> uh, over here. Uh, my name is Darren Brown, and I work at the Ag Lab. And I do even further removed from, I work with fungi. Uh, but as a basic science application, we'll see where our paths might cross in the future. Okay, anybody else? Sir, what are you doing here tonight? Um, I came because I was very interested in, in the topic. And uh, my name's Don Grumbine. And um, I, I personally think part of the problem with stem cell research, for one, is definition and talking. It's very confusing. I think that's the problem tonight. You were talking about raising money and funds. It's not the same as the Susan G. Coleman for political reasons. But I came here to separate fact from fiction and mythology for that. And when you use the word stem cell research, stem cell research doesn't mean one thing. It means at least, they would be able to tell you better than me, but it means at least three or four things I can think of right now. Absolutely. And I think you can be against some of it and be for some of it because of all a myriad of reasons. Absolutely. But, and I think that's why it's a difficult, and I, I'm interested and I would like to help. And I spoke to Joan on the phone, that's the first time I've ever talked to her, and she was, oh, obviously I want things to go people's way and have research that does correct situations. So um, she's a dear lady seen from what I've seen today. But anyways, I just want to sap, you know, separate fact from fiction. And I think that I think they need to clean up uh, vocabulary a lot. Absolutely. Because stem cell research means eight different. However, they'll, they'll hopefully they'll tell me today how many things it means. So, and and how effective how effective each of those things are, because there's a lot of mythology on that too. And I'd like to get the you know get to a closer truth on what's been effective and what hasn't up till now. You know. Okay, very good. Well, why don't you two uh, ladies tell me what uh, you're doing here tonight, who you are? Um, my name's Lee Ann Weinman, and this is my daughter, Dylan. Um, and I recently just met Joan, and um, she found out that my daughter's interested in going into the field of biology and genetics, and immediately she invited us to come. Um, so I'm here at her invitation. Thank you, Joan. And we just kind of came to I support stem cell research. Um, I have a father who has Alzheimer's. I don't know if that would help him, but I support medical research. I think it's a good thing. Um, we just kind of came to get more information, and um, Dylan came to learn a little bit more. Yeah, yeah my dad, my dad was going to write our paper. Uh, what is tonight? Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Say that having these three young people, Garrett and Dr. Katie student and Dylan, um, it just fills my heart with joy to, um, to, to see the future and to see the excitement that these kids, these kids are our future. And I am so damn glad. Thank you. I thought I was going to escape. Um, my name is Diana Avila, and um, I have recently gone back to school in the field of environmental health. Um, I'm kind of interested in doing some advocacy to take the negative religious connotations out of the science of stem cell research. I think that would be a, a goal of mine. Um, to educate some of the people that um, can kind of associate stem cell research, especially embryonic research, um, about the facts so that they don't think it's a uh, uh, something that has anything to do with abortion and um, has all of the religious connotations that it does. Um, I think that prevents a lot of people from getting more involved. So. That would be what I'm taking away from this. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Hi, I'm Tony Crow. We're uh, 
don't have scientific degrees, but we do have a soapbox. And we try to use it to the best benefit that we can for our community. And Rob and I are more than willing to take our soapbox and advocate. Um, we're here tonight on the request of Joan, but uh, for on a personal basis, uh, we need more education because if we're going to espouse in public or say the right things, we need to know what the right things are to say. So we came here tonight not only to help Joni out, but to get an education on stem cell. That's us. Thank you. The harvesters. <laughs> yes. Right. I, I guess we are on the stem cell transplant team at Methodist. Wow. And we, we see what it does. And we're here to find out what else it can do. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else want to speak here? With her? Can we go here? <laughs> You want to speak? I think she probably said Jim Bell. Jim Bell, how about you? I'm actually with them. Oh. My name is Laura Cordell, and um, I, I do some volunteer work in the community uh, with the Parkinson's community on, on basically trying to connect what little dots we have in, in the Peoria area. So I am um, proud to say I am part of the volunteer t volunteer team, which actually is pretty much me <laughs> at Dr. <laughs> Katie's lab, but as far as the volunteers go. Um, but we are, we do have a network of people in the community that um, help recruit um, umbilical cord and, uh, blood donors um, for Dr. Kitty's research. Um, so I do um, some odds and ends volunteer work for his project. Right now we're trying to update his website. If you'd ever checked it out, it's in desperate need of updating. So we're working on that project. Um, but then we also try to connect the dots with um, uh, Roger and Barb and the support group. Um, other fundraising organizations and, and events in the community that bring awareness and attention and volunteers to uh, build up the, uh, the base of support and awareness here in the Peoria area. Very good. Thank you.